Renowned senior Peloton fitness instructor and motivational teacher Alex Toussaint has transformed the fitness world with his infectious energy and grueling workouts. He's now hopping off the bike to give people the inspiration and motivation they need to activate their greatness in every aspect of their lives with his new book, Activate Your Greatness, which details his journey from overcoming early life challenges to now inspiring thousands every day. And joining us now is Mr. Toussaint himself. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. It's an honor to be here with you today. Thank you. So this is part mel memoir, yes. part self-help. Yes. What inspired you? You know what? It's time to write a book. Absolutely. Um, I've healed. I've mm. gone through such a transformation in life uh, through the opportunity of movement, through fitness. I mean, I've reached this point where I wanted to just take time and share with the world uh, that my struggles, my trials and tribulations, the things that I deemed as negative in life are my ultimate strengths. And the abilities that I've been able to utilize off of that have been revolutionary for me. So I wanted to just take time and share my story as a young black man to society of one, thankful for the opportunities that have been presented, but most importantly, a dedication to my father. I, think, mm. I feel like a lot of black fathers don't get the credit mm. uh, that they deserve. And I had a father that was extremely present, extremely tough on me, sometimes so tough, I'm like, can you go somewhere? <laughs> but I look back now as a, as a young adult, and I'm truly thankful for what he's instilled in me. You talked a lot about your, your parents yes, being Haitian immigrants and going to military school, dropping out of college, yes. going on to, to mop floors. Yes, Why was it so important to you to, to highlight those obstacles? Because those, I, those may be who I am today. Mm. All those small, intricate, uh, failures or setbacks, those are my identity. And instead of shrinking myself for environments I've outgrown, I was like, no, let's tell that. Let's be vulnerable and share that story with the world. Because I've only been able to, to, quote unquote, activate my greatness because of those things uh, from my childhood and those uh, setbacks. So without those, I don't know where I would be. One thing you wrote that caught my attention right away, because I've always thought this same thing. You said, fake it till you make it yeah. is something people say all the time. This is bad advice. Yeah. In fact, I would, uh, I would, uh, suggest the opposite. Absolutely. Tell us why. The concept of fake it till you make it means that you're existing in this thing called life, but you're not fully living it. And when you overcome these obstacles, you get so caught up in the faking it that you truly believe it. I'm a person of accept where you are in life, but don't accept it where you, to the point that you're always going to be there. That is your leverage point. That is the place that you could catapult you to where you want to go. So instead of sitting there trying to fake an identity or fake who you are and having to remember that day in and day out, wake up and be true to yourself. Wake up and identify yourself in the mirror. How you view yourself is how you treat yourself. And once you come to that perspective, it allows you to move through society and through life at a different frequency. Uh, you're known for the motto, feel good, look good, do better. Yes, ma'am. Explain that. Break that down for us. The feel good concept is that internal light. That's the, I wake up in the morning and I feel so good about myself that nobody can take me off of my frequency. The look good is the energy that I'm providing out there to society. And the do better is once you get the feel good, the look good, the do better is extending the hands to others out there who may need it. So it's a revolving cycle every single day in the process of you got to wake up, identify the feel good, identify the look good, and then extend the hands out there to others who need to do better. So you promise people who participate in your class that you are going to kick their bleep. Yep. <laughs> and yet people keep coming back they keep and coming back, back and back. And yeah. what is that? Because a lot of times people don't want that hard challenge. It's a tough love. It's mm. exactly how I was raised. It's exactly the military school, the teachers uh, in high school that were always tough on me, my college, my, uh, my coaches in basketball. Um, that tough love right there is what people need. I'm not here to sugarcoat it. I'm not here to be, quote unquote, soft in my classes. I want to pull the best out of you, and I want you to feel the best about yourself. And in order to do that, sometimes we need to break down the breakthrough. So that tough love in that class is that break down and breakthrough moment. Break down and breakthrough. You yes, talk about being Peloton's first black instructor. Yes. Tell us how you balance really that pressure with your own personal growth of, as you say, not wanting to let anybody down. Absolutely. I, it's one of those things that if you're not continuously growing, you're somewhat failing your community. Peloton let me through the doors in 2015 as a first black instructor. I remember my intent every single day with the pressure of potentially being the first black person in a lot of people's homes across America. How I arrive in those classes could dictate how other people treat others in our community. So I held that responsibility uh, very high and I still do. For those who are picking up your book, how do you feel? Is there one particular piece of advice that you feel could really change their lives just like that? Oof, definitely. Um, there's so many in the book. I would say gratitude. Gratitude canceling out your negativity and fear. And that awareness to have that gratitude first thing in the morning when you wake up can cancel out all the negative 
extra things that you think about first thing in the morning or throughout your day or how society places uh, insecurities and doubts on you, that gratitude will cancel out your negativity and fear. So if all if you fail at anything else and can't understand the book or for some reason it's not receptive to you, I want you to understand that gratitude will cancel out your negativity and fear in life. And, and you clearly live that. I mean, walking into the room, the space had that vibe of, of positivity I'm trying, right one day away. At a time. And so you, you walk it in and talk it. Alex Toussaint, we thank you so much for coming on the show. Want to let our viewers know, Activate Your Greatness is now available to purchase wherever books are sold. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.